Hey everyone, this is Mr. DeMeo, and today we are going to learn about the planets. Now before we even start to talk about the planets, we have to start small. So here I am in Union Beach, a small town inside of New Jersey. And New Jersey is inside of the United States. And the United States is inside of North America. And North America is on the planet Earth. 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 When you look at it like that, it's crazy. Look at the Earth here with the green arrow compared to the other planets. We're tiny. And compared to the Sun, we're so small. It would take one million Earths to fit the size of the Sun. But there are some other planets that are smaller than us and much bigger. What do you say we get started and learn a little bit about these eight planets that orbit around the Sun? What you're looking at here is the sun. And just like those twinkling things in the night sky, the sun is a star. A star is a ball of hot glowing gases. And this particular star, our sun, it's the center of our solar system. It's what our planets revolve around. Those lines you're seeing in the picture, they're not actually there. It's kind of like the equator there, imaginary. But that is the path of orbit that all of the planets take around the Sun. Now even though the Sun looks close in the map, it's actually 93 million miles away from the Earth. And you might not notice it here, but the Sun is actually 59 million degrees. That's like taking a normal summer day in New Jersey and multiplying it by 655,000. That's pretty hot. But I wonder what life is like on planets that are closer to the Sun. Now to make it a little bit easier for you, I'm going to break the planets up into two groups. The inner planets and the outer planets. The inner planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They're the ones that are closest to the Sun. And because they're the closest, they're hotter than the other planets. But that's not the only thing that makes them special. You see, these planets are made up of a solid, rocky material. As you can tell, the outer planets are much bigger than the inner planets. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And they're not always called the outer planets. Sometimes they're called the gas giants because they're mostly made up of gas. They might have solid cores in the center, but scientists don't know yet, which is pretty cool. But what do you say we just get started and meet one of these planets? Here I am on the planet that's closest to the sun, Mercury. And because we're so close, it's pretty hot here. It has a rocky surface that's filled with a lot of craters. And every single crater on here actually has a name. But did you guys know that this is the smallest of the eight planets in our solar system? Let's take a look and see exactly how small it is compared to the other ones. Wow, Mercury really is a tiny planet. Who you calling Tata? Sorry, Mercury, didn't mean anything by it, but technically you are the smallest planet. Pluto used to be the smallest planet, now I am. I feel so small. It's not too bad, Mercury. You're still a pretty interesting planet. Yeah, well, uh, at least I'm still probably the hottest planet, because I'm closest to the sun. Uh, sorry, Mercury. Venus is actually the hottest planet. There's gotta be something cool about me, then. You're filled with more craters than any other planet in our solar system. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And all the craters on me are named after famous writers and artists like John Lennon of the Beatles or Edgar Allan Poe. I got tons of craters, man. Wow, that's pretty cool. They should name a crater after barbecue spare ribs. Um, I mean, they're not a famous writer or artist, but they're delicious. Okay, you're being weird now, Mercury. Or maybe sour cream and onion potato chips. Shouldn't we be talking about the planets? 
It's a good thing Venus isn't made out of sour cream and onion potato chips. Because if it was, I think I'd eat the whole entire planet. Here I am on the second closest planet to the sun, Venus. Now, Venus was one of those inner planets that we talked about earlier, so it's solid. But I'll tell you what, guys. It's even hotter here than it was on Mercury. I wonder why that is. Uh-oh. Uh Do you guys hear that? You stop right there. I didn't even say anything. Stop. Right. There. Calm down, man. I just have a few questions. Oh, then why don't you say anything, old chap? I'm Venus. Nice to meet you. Wow, okay, that was weird. But, um, Venus, you're the second closest planet to the sun. But why are you hotter than Mercury? Well, it's simple, mate. You see, my atmosphere is mostly made up of carbon dioxide. And I've got thick clouds. And those thick clouds trap the heat inside so it gets really hot here. You know, I was just on Mercury, and that planet has a lot of craters, yet you don't. Why is that? Well, you know those meteors that do crash into Mercury? They can't crash into me because my thick atmosphere actually burns them all up. And the ones that do hit me are actually covered in lava flow. Whoa, I heard the word lava flow. Does that mean you have volcanoes? Yeah, mate. There's more volcanoes on Venus than any other planet in the solar system. Some scientists even think that there's more than one million volcanoes on me. Wow, that's pretty cool. What do you say we go to the next planet before we melt? Ah, now here we are on my favorite planet, the one we live on, the third rock from the sun, Earth. How you doing, Earth? Cha, dude, I'm totally gnarly. Okay, you're gnarly. I'm totally radical. Radical's good. I'm stupendous. Stupendous, okay. I'm scoogamoggly. Scoogamoggly? That's not even a word. Cha, I just made it up. It means... Blue. In that case, Earth, you are definitely scoogamoggly. But here's the deal, man. You are one of the most special planets in our solar system. But can you tell me why you're so special? I am the only planet in our solar system with Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. No, that's definitely not it. Only planet with a sandwich named the Baconator. Keep trying. Only planet with popcorn-flavored jelly beans. One more guess. I'm the only planet with living things on it that human beings know of. I don't know why I talked like that. Okay, you're the only planet with life on it, but why? It's all in the water, bro. If I was any closer to the sun, the water would evaporate. If I was further, it would freeze, so I'm kind of in, like, the perfect spot, you know, no big deal. Okay, well, I had enough Earth for one day, so what do you say we go to our next planet? Here I am on the last of the inner planets. Now, some people know it as the red planet, but we all know it as Mars. Are you there, Mars? Um, you can come out, Mars. I'm not going to bite. Um, uh, hi. Oh, hey, Mars. How you doing, little girl? But I'm a boy. Uh, awkward. Sorry, Mars. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, though? No, can't do it. Too shy. You don't want to give it a shot? Way too shy. Come on. No. How about I just ask you a few questions and you could tell me if I'm right. Um, okay. I live on the planet Earth, and I heard that Earth and Mars are really similar. But one thing that makes them the most similar is that they both experience four seasons. Is that true? Yeah, that's right. And another thing that makes Earth and Mars similar is that they both have polar ice caps, meaning that in their north and south poles, there's a ton of ice. Is that true? Uh-huh. I also heard you're home to the largest volcano in our solar system, Olympus Mons. Is that true? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, and that'll bring us to the end of Mars. Wait, you forgot one last thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm named after the Roman god of war. Not bad for a cute little thing like myself. Hi, guys. Mr. DeMeo again here, reporting from my spaceship. You see, I wanted to go to the next planet, but... 
scientists aren't sure what's at the center of it. You see, it's the first of the gas giants, and it's the biggest planet in our solar system. Here we are, but, at but, Jupiter. But open up the time uh, capsule. Do you bit, guys hear that? But, but, but open up the time capsule. But, 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 but open up the time capsule. But. Bit. All right, enough! Oh, hey, Bob. Didn't see you there, man. How you doing? Bob? I'm not Bob. Yeah, but you kind of look like a Bob, though. Well, at least you're not saying I look like a starfish. So, Jupiter, you are a gas giant. But what exactly does that mean? Well, on occasion, I like to eat some Polish sausage. And when I do that, I start to... Stink up the room, if you know what I'm saying. No, 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 Jupiter, not that kind of gas. You're a gas giant. What does that mean? Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. You see, a gas giant is a planet that's made up of mostly gas, like hydrogen or helium. We might have solid centers, but for the most part, we're gas. Huh, pretty interesting. Oh, hey, Jupiter, what is that weird circle thing by your chin? Red spot. No, no, for real, I see it. It's like a circle. Red spot, red spot, red spot. Oh, you're red spot. That's what you're saying. Hey, uh, explain to my class what that is, though. Red spot. You see that arrow pointing to that circle down there? That's the red spot. It's the biggest hurricane in the solar system. It's been raging for over 300 years. Whoa, if that's a hurricane and you're the biggest planet in the solar system, I wonder how big that hurricane is compared to Earth. Yeah, hey, I'll show you. Take a look. Red spot. Red spot. Polish sausage. Polish sausage. Wow, that giant hurricane is enormous. In fact, it would take three Earths to fit the size of it. That's huge. What do you say we go to the next planet before we get sucked in? Now on to the next planet. Here we are at Saturn, the second of the gas giants. Now I remember being a little kid and looking at pictures of Saturn and finding it so strange that a planet had rings. But I have a sneaky suspicion that those rings aren't what we think they are. What you, let's, let's just talk to this guy. Hey, uh, Saturn, are you there? I have a cat named Orange Juice. <laughs> okay, not what I expected. Um, Saturn. I have to say, it is such an honor meeting you, man. You're, you're one of the most famous planets with those rings that you have. I like onion rings. <laughs> onion rings? No, man, I'm talking about the rings that go around you. Rings? My mom says I can't answer the phone if it rings because I put the mouth part on my ear and the ear part on my mouthy. No, man, those rings, the... the that circle thing that's going around you. Are those actually rings or are they something else? Oh! Why didn't you say so? You see, it looks like I have one big ring, but there's actually six rings there. And those six rings are made up of ice and rocks and dust. All right, cool. Thanks for clearing that up for me, Saturn. Now, one last question. Some of my students are interested in your moons because both you and Jupiter have so many of them. Can you tell them a little bit about your moons? No problem! You see, I have a bunch of cool moons, 62 to be exact. I've got one that looks like the Death Star from Star Wars, and I've got one named Titan that has an atmosphere just like Earth's. Oh, and uh, I have a cat named Potato Chips. I thought you said your cat's name was Orange Juice. I have a cat named Orange Juice. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm done with this. Nice. We're almost at the end, guys. Here we are at the third gas giant. Now, as you know, I'm on my spaceship. I can't land on this one because scientists aren't sure what's at the center. They kind of think it has an icy rock center, but they're still not sure. 
So here we are at Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I don't get it. Um, uh, nothing. I uh, saw a funny movie last night, and uh, what did I do? Yeah, I laughed at it, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm laughing about right now. That's what I was doing. Ah, I saw a movie, eh? Uh, what was the name of that movie? Uh, it was uh, named Mar mm, Reddish Maroon Sweat Sweatshirt Man in Space, Part 2. Reddish Maroon Sweatshirt Man, eh? I guess I'll have to wait till that one comes out on Blu-ray. Speaking of Blu-ray, why are you the color blue? Oh, nice transition. You see, I'm a gas giant, and my upper atmosphere is made up of methane gas. And that gas absorbs red light from the sun and reflects it out blue, my favorite color. Nice, okay. But I gotta ask you something, Uranus. You see, Saturn has rings, and you have rings too. But it looks like you're spinning on your side. What is going on there? Well, I actually am spinning on my side. Scientists aren't sure why. But they think maybe like a couple of really big objects smashed into me a long time ago. But I don't mind. Makes me look sophisticated. Yeah, man, it totally does, actually. Okay, let's just go to the last planet in our solar system. Here we are at the last planet in our solar system, Neptune. And Neptune couldn't be more different than the planet Earth. You see, on Earth, it takes 365 days, or one year, for it to go completely around the sun. But on Neptune, it takes 165 years for it to go around the sun. That's nuts. Let's just talk to this guy. Neptune, what's going on, man? So, you must be, uh, Mr. DeMeo. <laughs> you smell like cat food and, and applesauce. You don't even have a nose. How did you smell me? I smell you with my eyes. That doesn't even make sense. Yes, it does. I go like this. And then like this. Calm down, Neptune. No need to get all worked up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just need to cool down. Hey, speaking of cooling down, did you know I am the coldest planet in the solar system? I heard that, I heard that, but how cold can you get? Well, just to give you an idea how cold it is, the average temperature on Neptune was negative 353 degrees Fahrenheit. And compared to New Jersey, the coldest that ever was there was Negative 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, sounds like a tough place to live. Yes, yes, cat food. Very rough here. On top of being so cold, it's the windiest place in the solar system. Some wind can even reach up to 2,000 miles per hour. Awesome. Thanks for talking to us, Neptune. Now that brings us to the end of our planets. What about me? You're not a planet anymore, Pluto.